everyone today we learn about the Ampere's law application which is infinitely long coxial transmission line in long coxial transmission line consisting two concentric cylinders having the axis along the z axis so from the two concentric cylinders we can draw the cross section of the line which is we can see that uh, in the inner cylinder the radius is a and the outer cylinder the radius is b and the thickness is t so the current flow to the z direction, positive z direction, is between radius A and B, and the current flow to the negative z direction, or in the page, in the outer of the thickness. So the current toward to the positive z direction denoted by cross inside the circle, and the current towards to the negative z direction denoted by the cross inside the circle. From the cross section line, for the region rho between 0 and A, we can see the ampere part L1 and current I is out of the page mean in the positive z direction. We apply ampere law to part L1, so the Close part, the integrals of the integral of close part h d l equal to i n close. So the i n close equal to the integral of surface j dot d s. We know that j is a constant and d s is rho d phi d rho in the direction of z. So rho equal to a so pi a square with the direction of z time j. So j equal to i pi a square in the direction of z. Since the current is uniformly distributed over the cross section, so we need to find i enclosed in terms of radius a and radius rho. So we know that j equal to i divided by a square and d as rho d phi d rho with, uh, in the direction of z. So I enclosed equal to the integral of surface j dot ds. So the j is a constant and j equal to i divided by a square. And ds, we, we can find rho d phi d rho with a rho equal to 0 and rho equal to rho. And phi equal to 0, phi equal to 2 pi. So when we integrate, we can get a pi rho square. And j is i divided by a square. So now we can see that I enclosed in two terms, which is I enclosed equal to I rho square divide A square. Then from the I enclosed, we can find the magnetic field in direction of phi. So magnetic field in direction of phi time integral of apparent part L1 dl equal to H phi dl equal to 2 pi rho equal to i enclose i rho square divide a square so h v equal to i rho divide 2 pi a square so for the region rho be, the rho between 0 and a okay, we can find two terms uh, of the radius so radius a and radius rho for the region rho between a and b we can find that the amperium part denoted as a L2. So we use part L2 as the amperium part. So the close integral of HDL equal to I and close equal to I. Why I and close equal to Y? Because the current flow out of the page or towards to the positive Z direction in the between of the radius A and B. So we no need to find the I and close. Then we just direct find the H field in direction of phi. So H dl equal to H in direction of phi. 2 dl equal to 2 pi rho equal to i. So H in direction of phi equal to i divide 2 pi rho. For the region rho between B and B plus T. Okay, for the region rho B, uh, between B and B plus T. So we have developed the amperium part L3. So the amperium part L3 located between the, the radius B and B plus T. So we use part 
L3 so the 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 close part of integral HDL equal to HV so DL is 2 pi rho equal to I enclosed so I enclosed here equal to we know that the inside of the cylinder have a uh, I uh, located between radius A and B out of the page so I enclosed equal to I plus integral J dot GS so J equal to I pi R square so R here is like B plus T minus B square because we just only the orange region the the length of the the radius of the orange region so B plus T square minus B square so I enclose equal to I minus I pi divide pi times B plus T square minus B square so we know that we have a ds so rho d rho d phi so so rho here is start from b eh? from b to the rho we, we we never know that the limit of the rho so from b to the rho and the phi from 0 to the pi so the final is i times 1 minus rho squared minus b squared divide t squared plus 2b t so from the equation we know that we uh, i enclose so that the equation amperial law is the close part of hdl equal to hp 2 pi rho equal to i enclose so we know that hp equal to i enclose divide 2 pi rho so when you substitute uh, i enclose it, you can get the the equation the final equation is i divide 2 pi rho time 1 minus rho square minus b square divide t square plus 2 b t in the region p larger than b plus t so we have another ampere part we call it l4 so how to find the l4 So, at the L4, we have the current I in the page in the negative Z direction. So, the current I, the magnitude is negative I. We all already know the I current uh, located between the, the radius A and B. So, we, we get it easy. So, the I located with the current, located with the radius A and B, minus i outer of the thickness so i minus i equal to zero so h field equal to zero therefore we assembly all the region so we can see that the region row between zero and a the h field is i row divided two pi a square the region row between a and b I divide 2 pi rho in the direction of phi and the, the, the region rho between B and B plus T we can get the 1 over 2 pi rho 1 minus rho square minus B square divide T square plus 2 B T and if the rho larger than B plus T H field is equal to 0 if you translate to the magnitude of H to the graph of magnitude of h and rho you can get that you can get it that the this graph like this so a can increase when the h the h field at 1 over 2 pi a and going going to decrease when the h field 1 over 2 pi b and going to decrease to 0 from here we can note that the ability to take h from under the integral sign is the key to ampere's law to determine h ampere law can be used to find h only due to symmetric current distribution so to find the uh, to find the h field and i enclose at the infinitely long coxal is a 
first you need to find I and close and second you, you need to find H fill.